<laughs> if people knew who you were, they would have been blessed you. If people knew who you were, they would have been giving you that kind word. If they knew who you were, they would have been giving you the words of, of affirmation. If they only knew who you were. You, you're one of the ones that the Lord has made to be inside, to be inside of the crowd, seen, but not seen. What do I mean? I mean, you're one of the ones that the Lord has placed amongst people. And he's placed you amongst people for a reason. This reason is to bless them for blessing you. This reason is to bless them for giving you that kind word. This reason is to lift them up for lifting you up. And I know that sounds a little weird, but the Lord will oftentimes do that. Why? Because a lot of times when someone, okay, can come to you, a person like you, and bless you and give you kind words of encouragement and strengthen you. When someone can come and do that, a person like you, it takes them to move their pride aside. It takes them to move themselves aside. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not to lift you up. And I don't know if you can see me. But it's not to lift you up at all. Amen. It's not to lift you up at all. But it's to show you how the Lord does things. And sometimes he'll put you in a place because he wants to bless others for blessing you. A lot of times them blessing you is their level up. A lot of times, them blessing you is their level up. A lot of times, them giving you that kind word is their breakthrough. It's their open door. Because the Lord is like, I have this right here and it's for you. But I want to see, can you come beside yourself? Amen. And a lot of times, you are put in a certain place for a test. You are a lot of people's test will you do what i said concerning my son will you do what i've said concerning my daughter you beloved when i tell you that the lord loves you so much jesus okay jesus was put in different places and there are many times Jesus told them, uh, go tell them I need this or go tell them I need that. Do you believe that the people that blessed Jesus didn't get blessed? The Lord has put the same anointing on you. Good God Almighty. The Lord has put the same anointing on you that those that bless you. They're automatically going to be blessed. Many times, uh, it's not money that they need. You know what I'm saying? But many times, it's things that they need that you can't buy. You know what I mean? Like health or uh, children in trouble, always in trouble. You know, things like this. And the Lord is saying that it's these things. It's these prayers that I'm going to answer. It's these prayers, the prayers that they don't have control over. It's these prayers that I'm going to answer when these begin to bless you. When I have one that will be obedient to give you that kind word. If I have one to be obedient to strengthen you. If I have one to be obedient to give you that offering. No matter what it is, the Lord puts it on people's heart to bless you. Wow. There was a couple of years ago, I would say maybe about two or three years ago, about three years ago, two and a half years ago, there was a lady, okay, in a fellowship, and the fellowship was going to have um, a banquet. Well, my husband at the time, he and I, we didn't have the finances to go, 
And they was announcing the banquet. And I said in my heart, I was like, Lord, you know, I would really like to go to that banquet, you know, just to be able to dress up and just see how it is, you know, enjoy some good music. That was it. I just said it in my mind, like, Lord, in my heart, I would really like to go. Well, after church, okay, I had begun to, I was talking with the children like I was accustomed to doing, you know, just being around the kids, love them. All right. So I was talking to them and a lady came up to me and some of the ones that I was talking to was her grandchildren. And uh, she came up to me and she said, are you going to the banquet? And I was like, no, ma'am. And she's like, you want to go? And I was like, yes, ma'am. She was like, hold on, stay right there. She went to the office and purchased two tickets, one for me, one for him. And if I'm not mistaken, the tickets were like $60 a piece or either 30. All right. She went and purchased two and she came back and gave them to me and she handed them to me. And I'm like, what? I was, I said, why did you do that? And she said, child, the Lord tell a lot of people to bless you. They just don't. I was like, ma'am. She said, the Lord tell a lot of people to bless you. They just don't. That, what she said to me, stuck with me from then. And it'll go with me forever. And I want to share that with you. Because when I got up this morning, the Lord put it on my heart to share this with you. That you, if people knew who you were, they would have been blessed you. You know what I'm saying? If people knew who you were, you know, and they would have been blessed you. Jesus, if they knew Jesus was the Christ, they would have never crucified him. They would have never beaten him. If they knew who he was, they wouldn't have done it. Amen. And so I'm telling you, the Lord is saying, I don't know who this word is for, but you have gotten the attention of Abba. You've been through. You've been through. You've been tried. You've been tried. Good God. The Lord sent me to tell you that there are those that if they knew who you were, if they knew who you were, they would have been blessed you by now. Amen. I'm telling you that your blessings are about to overtake you. If the Lord have to use somebody from across the waters, amen, to come and speak a kind word. If he have to use somebody across the waters or in the mountains to bless you financially. If he have to use somebody else, okay, across the world to be that iron that sharpens you. He says, you will receive it. Amen. Receive that. Oh, I'm going to receive that for myself. Amen. Until next time, God bless.